As the door creaks open and you enter a dimly lit room, the glitter of gold from the sacks of treasure around the storehouse immediately catch your eye. It seems that searching these ruins was definitely the right choice. And it appears that drinks are on you tonight at the tavern. All right, today we're going to be making some little loot sacks, and we're going to do that with these little uh, napkin squares that I cut out, as well as some little filler beads and some twine. So the basic principle is you take the square, which I've cut these to two by two inches, uh, put a filler bead in, and then I'm using a piece of twine to just kind of quickly and gently uh, secure the top of it in place. Now you can cinch these completely shut, but I'm leaving it a little bit open uh, because I want to fill these with gold treasure or you know just random whatever stuff to make it look like there's things in the bag that are uh, visible to the players. Uh, so to secure the twine in place, I do just a little drop of super glue on the uh, knot and that will hold it in place and bond it to the napkin. Uh, now I'm using napkins, you can use whatever, these are just kind of what I had that were easy to use and available. Uh, so we're going to snip off the excess of the twine, uh, and then using the scissors I'm just kind of cutting out a rough uh, circular pattern around the top and then trimming off any edges that just kind of look like they're out of place. Now this will give it a nice uh, little appearance and voila, a sack. Now we're going to seal the whole thing with some glue. Now I'm using Mod Podge for this, but you can use anything that dries relatively clear. All right, so I did some that were open and some that were closed. So now we've got to paint them up and make them look more cloth-like. So to do that, we're going to use a one-to-one -one mix of parchment and a warm gray. Uh, this will give them a very nice natural uh, cloth sack look. Okay, so now the twine kind of got covered up through all of that, so we're going to use some raw sienna to paint over it. This will give it a, uh, well, it'll give the rope a rope-like appearance. Yeah, it sounds weird to me too. Okay, once that's done, we're going to uh, kind of give it some shading and some... Uh, better appearance and I'm using some army painter uh, soft tone shade uh, this worked really really well to give it a more natural appearance and just kind of uh, overall nice quality shade uh, I have tried this with some Citadel shades and while they do work I liked this better because it didn't change the color too much just kind of made it a little bit more tan so now, for the open ones, I'm using some tin foil to create a uh, filler section. So this is just basically me stuffing some tin foil into the top of it to kind of create a little uh, mound that some uh, gold glitter will fit on top of. Uh, and this will get secured down with a drop or two of super glue just to make sure it doesn't come loose. Now, it's important to do this at the end of all the painting and the shading uh, because you don't want the silver of the tin foil to get covered up. And I'll kind of show you why in a moment. Uh, so now we're going to use some Mod Podge. Uh, I definitely would recommend a very, very strong glue for this. You don't want the glitter coming off once you're done. So just kind of paint over the top of it. Make sure to leave the edges of the top of the sack unpainted with the glue and then just cover the whole thing in some uh, gold glitter uh, kind of like this and then let it set to dry for about an hour or so. Okay maybe not an hour just like wait until it's dry. So now that it's dry I'm going to take a uh, brush tap off the excess and then brush off any that are a little bit loose just to make sure that they don't come off during gameplay. And the reason that we don't paint the uh, aluminum foil is any that break off and let you see the foil through just makes it look like silver pieces. 
So this could be used for a lot of different applications as filler for a marketplace or maybe even uh, filling out a storeroom like we did in the intro. So thank you everyone for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comments section, and we will see everyone next episode.